All right, good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 8.51 in the evening on Saturday, December 19th, 2020. And we're here to uh, give you the forecast for uh, places around the globe. And we're gonna start with uh, quakes that have already hit around the globe. In a, and then we're gonna go to the forecast after that. So we'll start with that. All right, here we go. So we had a 4.6 you can see over here that hit right here east of Antofagasta. And if you look our risk area there, is right on the border there, right there on the edge northeast of Chile. It was right there on the 90% risk area. And then uh, in uh, south of, um, let's see this one, this quake down here. Uh, south of our risk area, we had called for something in like uh, Miyazaki and Kumamoto in that area. That's southern and western Japan. We got a 4.8 in that uh, area. And then this 4.1 earthquake here, you can see that hit in our warning area right there in the 95% risk area, bullseye. So that 4.1 right here hit in our warning area right there. So that was good. And then uh, we called for a earthquake north of uh, the Philippines. And I'll show you that in a second here. Over the Philippine forecast. And there it is, you can see out in northern Philippines, we're calling for that. Well, there's the 4.3 in the northern Philippines. Now we're gonna go to the earthquake forecast. We're gonna start with uh, California. And uh, we're looking for a strong earthquake near Los Angeles. You can see this uh, hot spot here, uh, just northeast of uh, Los Angeles. It extends over to uh, Blythe, northeast of the Salton Sea, and all the way over to uh, Santa Maria and Santa Barbara, and uh, northwest suburbs of LA. So this whole area uh, is very high risk for a strong earthquake during the next 24 hours. And up here in the, the southern San Francisco Bay, there's a hot spot there and up near Santa Rosa, a little uh, smaller spot there. So looking for a strong earthquake in Southern California for the next 24 hours. And you can see that on this uh, forecast model here as well. This one depicts the hot spots a little better. And then on uh, the 21st and 22nd, it kind of moves out temporarily, but uh, please stay tuned. We're, we're seeing signs of a, a bigger quake coming, I believe uh, the next, three to four days after that. So we'll keep an eye on that. All right, we'll go to the Alaska forecast and the risk still remains uh, southwest of Anchorage for a strong 6.0 earthquake southwest of Anchorage tonight. And then the risk begins to diminish, diminish uh, on the 19th and the 20th, uh, especially on the 20th in this uh, little small area out here in the, uh, in the Gulf of Alaska there. And then on the 20th, 21st, just a small risk off, offshore there, south of Kodiak. And the 21st and 22nd, very quiet across Anchorage in southern Alaska, just a small risk way in the north, 90% risk there. All right, we're going back to the Chile forecast. And today into tomorrow, still a high risk here northeast of uh, Antofagasta. And then, uh, a little bit south of Antofagasta, 95% uh, risk there, 4.5 is possible in either of those areas, even a possible 5.0 in those areas. And then on the 21st into the 22nd, then uh, southeast of Antofagasta. So it's kind of all in that same, same region over the next few days. And we're gonna go to the Italy forecast. And this hot spot in the south here is where that 4.1 hit right down here. And that risk remains uh, for a little while longer. And then on the 20th and 21st, come tomorrow, the risk kind of uh, dissipates down there and it's a, a moderate risk in the far north, maybe a 3.5, 4.0. And then 70% uh, risk in East Central Italy on the 21st and the 22nd. And over Japan, 
uh, far in the far west, 90% risk there in the far west on the uh, 19th and the 20th. And then this kind of dissipates across uh, Japan, just a small 65% risk carried down near Nagasaki. And a small risk up here in Sapporo, in the far northern Hokkaido, 70-75% uh, risk there, 4.0 to 4.5 is possible in the far north. And pretty quiet across Japan, except for the 19th and the 20th, where there's a risk down here in the far western, southwest portion of Japan. Let's go to the Philippines. And there's that risk that we we're talking about in northern Philippines, and the 19th and the 20th, and then 20 to 21st, kind of quiet. So for the far south, maybe 60% in the far southeast. 21st, 22nd, very quiet across the Philippines. Very quiet. All right, this is an interesting forecast here in uh, Greece. And uh, we're looking for kind of quiet on the 19th to the 20th, maybe a 4.0 out here. And then on the 20th, the 21st, starting tomorrow and the next day, uh, Thessaly, in, uh, just northwest of Athens, could get a 5.0 earthquake in Thessaly province, uh, prefecture, what you want to call it. And then uh, the risk moves to uh, east of Crete and Rhodes Island, where a, a 5.0 is possible down in that area. Central America, click on that. And uh, I believe a 4.0 earthquake just hit down in this hot spot down here near uh, Panama just a little while ago. I saw that on the earthquake uh, center in uh, Europe. They uh, had a 4.0 down here. So this is a hot spot for a 4.0 to 5.0 earthquake for a few more hours. And then the risk moves to uh, southern uh, Mexico and southwest of Guatemala, where a 5.0 to 5.5 is possible in that area. And then near Belize, maybe a 4.0 is possible there on the 20th and 21st. And then pretty quiet on the 21st and 22nd, only 65% of this here is southern Mexico. All right, the Peruvian Ecuador forecast, just a 45% risk here in Western Ecuador. And then a 45% risk in Northwest Peru on the, uh, what is that, the 20, 20th to 21st. And then the 21st to 22nd, looks like we get a, a 5.0 earthquake or a 4.0 to 5.0, either in Southern um, Ecuador or Northwest Peru, or just offshore here on the 21st and the 22nd. Indonesia forecast. Looks like most of the risk, actually we can get a uh, about a 4.5 to 5.0. So we get this to come up here. Close some of these windows there. All right. Oh. There we go, finally it came up. All right, so the 19th and the 20th, look, we can get a 4.5 to 5.0 up in the northwest part of Sumatra. And then the risk diminishes a little bit, still 4.5 is possible off in the northwest part of uh, Indonesia and Sumatra there on the 20, 20th to 21st. 21st to 22nd, kind of offshore risk here in central uh, Sumatra. and. A 5.0 is possible off the far northwest portion of uh, Sumatra on the 21st and 22nd. All right, so we're going over to uh, Taiwan forecast. And 55% risk off east of Taiwan for the next uh, 24 hours. And quiet after that on the 20th, 21st, just a small 45% risk there. And then it builds, the risk begins to build into the uh, northern portion of the Ryukyu Islands. Ryukyu Islands are these islands along here. So that begins to build in on the, the end of the forecast period, 21 and 22. All right, here's a very interesting forecast here, the Caribbean forecast. 5.0 is possible north of uh, Puerto Rico for the next 12 hours or so. And then a 5.5 is possible east of Puerto Rico near the U.S. Virgin Islands during the 19th and the 20th. 
And then the wrist moves into the north east portion of the Leeward Islands, uh, northern and northeast portion of the Leeward Islands on the 20th to 21st. And this is a very concerning forecast here, the 21st, 22nd, 4.5 to 5.0 is possible, even likely in Southwest Dominican Republic, right here, far Southern uh, IT and uh, Haiti and Southwest Dominican Republic on the 21st and the 22nd. All right, Seattle, Washington, still a risk out in central uh, Montana. And then on the 19th and 20th, a 5.0 is possible offshore southwest of uh, Oregon. And then kind of quiet across the region, maybe a 3.5 in southern Idaho on the 20th and 21st. And here's something interesting here. Looks like a um, 4.5 is likely south of Portland on the 21st and the 22nd. So this is a very interesting uh, forecast. 4.5 is possible south of Portland, maybe the southern portion of the Portland suburbs, and we'll watch for that. One more forecast, and that's in uh, Turkey, Istanbul, Cyprus, Syria, and Iraq. The first uh, 24 hours, 19th and the 20th, uh, uh, 4.5 to 5.5 is possible in eastern Syria and northern Iraq. And then on the 20th and 21st, a risk is in uh, northern Iraq and northwest Iran, and also a slight risk of 4.0 in the northern part of uh, Turkey, 2021. And on the 21st, 22nd, a 4.5, 5.5 is possible in western Georgia and far northeast Turkey. So most likely in uh, Georgia there, country of Georgia. All right, we're gonna go back to the uh, California forecast again. Uh, strong earthquake is likely near Los Angeles during the next 24 hours. Not sure how big that could be, maybe a 4.5 to 5.0. And then uh, a risk here in southern San Francisco Bay and looking for much stronger earthquake during the next uh, 72 to 96 hours. But we'll keep you uh, up, updated on that during the, next, uh, during the next forecast, which is coming up uh, in about 24 hours from now. So, here we go, <laughs> I'm back on the screen again. So thank you very much for joining us here on uh, quakeprediction.com with the Earthquake Channel. Uh, you can actually go to earthquakechannel.com and it'll take you to quakeprediction.com as well. And uh, we'll keep you updated, we'll keep you safe, keep you informed here at quakeprediction.com and uh, please subscribe to our videos and tell everybody about our forecast. And uh, thanks again to the 147,000 followers on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube now. And uh, please tell your friends and have a great weekend. What's left of it, Saturday and Sunday. I guess it's just Sunday now. And we will talk to you on Sunday night. Thank you very much. And God bless you and have a great weekend. What's left? Thank you.